Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to show you how you can start peas indoors about 10 to 14 days before you might put them out into the ground. And the reason you want to start peas indoors is number one, you can, and it's going to save you really 14 to 21 days, about three weeks of time versus waiting for the ground to warm up to 40 degrees, waiting for the uh, moisture in the soil to kind of drain out. It's always really too wet in really early, early spring or um, late winter. Peas seeds themselves will rot if they're sitting in soil that's too soggy. So starting them indoors is a great way to take care of uh, those issues. And by the time they get out into the ground, your ground's not only going to be 40 degrees, it'll probably be warmer. You would have been able to work the soil and it really will work out well for you. And you can also put them into uh, containers, um, raised beds, the ground, all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to show you how to do that over the year. First thing is I'm going to grow about... I don't know, 20 varieties of peas this year. So I'll give you guys updates on how each variety goes and, and what's happening. They're going to go into raised beds, they're going to go into containers. Um, I'm going to put them all over the place because I really love them and I'm like, you know, why do I only plant 40 plants or something like that? Let's do more. I started this variety of pea. This is a purple potted pea. I forget the name of it. It might have only been purple pot, but I bought them on eBay. These were started on January, I'm sorry, on February 10th. Today is February 23rd. 13 days worth of growth. You can see all of the roots. And there used to be a myth that I believe that you couldn't start peas indoors because the roots damaged these. And you can see they're just coming out of the peat pot. That would be true if you started them in plastic cells. Start them in peat pots and I'll show you how to do that. These will also get transplanted into containers today in a separate video. They've just grown incredibly fast. I've got snow outside. I can't get them outside into containers, so I'm going to do them in the house. This is a, a dwarf gray pea, a um, Chinese pea, flat pod, planted at the same time. They're not germinating as well, and they're growing much more slowly. So you, I can't tell you, just wait 10 days and then transplant them. You really want to transplant them somewhere between these two. When the roots start coming out of the bottoms. You really want to get them into the ground or soil. But they can last in there uh, a little bit longer than you might think. So to set this up, one, I recommend peat pots for starting peas that are going to go into your containers, that are going to go into the ground. If you're not going to do a whole mass of them, you can put them into styrofoam cups. You just label them. I like the styrofoam cups. You can put them into the peat cups, or you can buy a setup like this. It'll give you 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 containers like this. It costs about $4.50 for the whole setup. Or just go with cups. 51 cups for about $1.25. You can't really go wrong with that. Now, to set them up, uh, let me just start with a couple of things first. This variety is called the uh, Burpina Early. This is a shelling pea. There's three main types. I did a video on it. This is a, a pot that you cannot eat, so you're growing it just for the peas. This is a sugar snap, um, organ, I'm sorry, sugar pot. This is a flat pea with immature peas on the inside. It's more like what you see in Chinese food. So this is like the Chinese stir fry pea. And then this is a sugar snap, which is a plump, full de fully developed pea and an edible pod. So I'm going to do probably 20 different peas in these three categories. This is how I set them up. Right on a, on a uh, popsicle stick, write down what you have. Also put one in here in case this falls off. You don't want to lose what you're doing. And believe me, I've dropped stuff before. I've knocked stuff down and lost track of what's what. The peas are pretty large. In this setup, all I do is fill this up with potting soil. This is not starting mix. This is miracle Grow potting mix. You can save yourself some money. It's about two... Um, let me see. I actually got it right down here. It's a two cubic feet of moistened and fertilized um, potting soil. It's not as fine as your starting mix. You don't need to, to plant these in starting mix. Potting mix is just fine. So I fill up the peat trays and then I just press down pretty deeply, almost to the bottom and that's where I'm going to drop the two peas into. Let me finish it over here on the table. So just press down nice and deep.
Peas really want to be planted about an inch to two inches deep, depending on what kind of soil you have. Can't quite get an inch in these. So in each hole, two peas. Press them in if they're up a little bit too high. Peas that come out of packs like this will probably both germinate. If your peas are a year old, germination drops pretty quick. I suggest you store them in a Ziploc bag. I'm not going to do all of these to kind of save you some video time. But once they're in, about that deep, throw some soil on it. And these will be watered in. Label and make sure your sticks are in there and you're good to go. These are going to be sugar snaps. And if you're not growing a whole lot of peas or you're putting them into containers or you don't need to get them to the ground, really putting them in, in these cups is the best way to go. Two peas, whatever container you want to use, just like that. The cups I like because I can write right on there what they are. They're a lot cheaper than these. And the peat pots I don't really use at this size. They tend to get too moldy and they're just a problem. They're, they're fine for peas because you could put them right in the ground. But I don't grow my tomatoes or anything in that. They all go into this, this, or actually recycle containers. So once they're in there you want to press them down about an inch. Don't worry if you go past that. In the case of the peat pots, you would just plant them right in the ground. The peas that are in the styrofoam cups and these plastic containers, you'll just be able to pop them out and plant them. And then, once they're done, just drop some soil into the holes, make sure everything is covered up, water them in, and in 10 to 14 days you're going to have different germinating or different rates of germination for your peas. You definitely want to make sure this pea gets into a container very soon. I'm going to do that in the next video. But just keep in kind of ballpark idea somewhere between 10 to 14 10 to 20 days is when you want to start these indoors so that you can get them outside and it will really save you about three weeks of, of uh, growing time so that you can get your peas you know to your to your table quicker hope you enjoyed the video please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos thanks